Uh, today we're out here launching our new S-Series Combines. Uh, this is a five model lineup ranging all the way from a Class 5 Combine up to, for this year, we're going to be introducing a new Class 9 Combine, now our S690, which is behind me here. Um, this is replacing our 70 Series lineup. Uh, several new enhancements to the Combine. Uh, we have done extensive changes uh, from front to back. Uh, as well, we will be offering some new residue systems. Uh, most specifically, one that we're excited about is wind compensation, which allows for us to control the residue width uh, despite what the uh, wind direction is doing. So the cab portion, uh, this is a brand new worldwide harvesting cab. This was designed uh, to, to fit all of our harvesting platforms, so anything from combines all the way through a sugar cane or a cotton harvester. Um, it was uh, a, a worldwide focus, so we went to markets all over the world and, and gathered uh, what those customers' changing needs were. Uh, this is the first new cab we've had on our combines in 20 years, so uh, we made a, a lot of enhancements to it, um, much more spacious, um, laid out the con controls to be similar to what uh, uh, you'll see in our uh, other equipment, such as tractors so that uh, it's very familiar for people when they hop in from one machine to the next. Uh, as well, the big key feature is, uh, that we've added is a active refrigerator to it. Uh, so you can literally put something that's warm in there and it will cool it down, not just keep it cold. So we, we have a new rotor now. Uh, we're calling it the variable stream rotor. It's aimed primarily at uh, extremely tough straw conditions or high yielding conditions tough to thrash conditions um, or those customers who are also looking for extremely high straw quality at the end if they uh, intend on bailing the product after it's been processed through the combine. Uh, as well it'll be uh, our base rotor for rice. We, um, we extended the front chaffer by 30 percent and it's, it's longer, it's not a wider design, it's longer, it helps the grain stay on it uh, more effectively to get cleaned as well to make sure that that capacity was matched in the sieve. The sieve is now 18 percent larger than it was in previous models. Uh, some of our, our two biggest models, our 8 and 9's, get a standard front chaffer extension that adds a, an additional 1100 square inches of cleaning area. Uh, due to the size of those machines, the horsepower and headers that they can run, they, they need that extra cleaning capacity. So we've got uh, several new residue options this year. Um, We've added a premium residue system uh, that will allow the uh, customer to, uh, from the cab with a push of a button, open a, a door at the rear of the machine that will let the straw fall directly into a windrow, uh, making for a, a perfect bailing scenario. Uh, as well, all of our residue systems now have the capability to have wind compensation, which uh, allows the customer to fight side winds to achieve even residue distribution across the entire width of his header. That's done, again, uh, from the cab with a push of a button. So very, very convenient.